can't tell me anything. That's right. But no, always. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only. I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead, it's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time, time is hell. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley, Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Ledger, watch, pistol. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam.
April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here of any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay, where is all this old crap? Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Ah, uh, a trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! God damn you! Ah! Pistol? Uh, just the ledger now.
Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh, rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred. Let's go, boy. They threw us away like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are off. you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> 